Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's continue on the x naught Fortress and go back to sub-level 1 to the door on the right to enter the access code that we found out uh, in the last part. So... Man, that elevator. Really, really fast when it approaches you. <laughs> I mean, when you're in it, it goes at a regular safe speed, wouldn't it? But if... Ooh, just imagine if you were in it when it was going that fast. The G-forces would probably kill you. <laughs> the They probably have some sort of like weight detection sort of thing to prevent that from happening. That's my best guess. Uh, anyway, uh, wait, that was correct, incorrect. Zero, uh, two, nine. Zero, one, four, or zero, two, nine is the code. Yes. You notice that there's two empty spaces there. As far as I can tell, they are just red herrings. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna swap to Goombella here because something about this room seems very, very familiar, doesn't it? Hmm. What's this room for, huh? I feel like I've seen that face somewhere before. Hmm. Oh well, forget about it, I guess. Hmm. Oh, um, I should probably equip the, uh, the fancy schmancy new, um, eh, where are the feeling fine badges? Is it, wait. Okay, there you go. Four uh, badge points apiece. It makes your uh, Mario immune to poison or dizziness. Pretty dang handy stuff to have. It's like the status, um, status thingy. I mean, status preventer, I guess you could say, of the game. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm going to do multi pounds because I'm gonna need this for. Um, something that is coming up fairly shortly, and that's going to be pretty dang handy. And I'll put that on as well. All right. Who are you, huh? You came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room? Yeah, I thought so. Well, then you're gonna have to beat me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine. You hear me? Mine. So what do you say? Now yeah, to be low. <laughs> You gutless little worms, get out of my sight. All right, all right let's, let's do this for realsies. <laughs> Challenge this chump. <laughs> You're mine now. It's quiz time once again, but you probably guessed that. <laughs> and here we go, folks. The main event, the 66th annual court quiz. Yay! Uh, Believe it or not, the first quiz was named the 65th. So we actually just did the quizzes in order, like this one and the one before it. So that, that's an indicator that no one else did quizzes between that time frame that we did ours and this one here. Anyway, <laughs> if you get five correct answers to the following questions, then you win, win, win. But if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast. You don't want to be toast, folks. Um, Spoiler alert, I'm going to purposefully fail this quiz, but I'm going to give you the correct answers to each, each of the questions. I want to fail the quiz just to show you what happens if you fail one of these things. Well, what are we waiting for, huh? Here we go! Question number one. Exactly what's hidden here? We kind of spill the beans here, it's the elevator key, but I like how they have monkey in here and pretty lucky as well. You know, all these sorts of um, key... Puns, I suppose. Ah, you're correct. Crud. Well, that was an easy one. You won't do so well on the next one. I guarantee that. Here you go, sucker. What's the name of that girl in Pedalberg who's waiting for patiently for Koops' return? That is... <laughs> Flavio is on here. Koopy Koo! Woo! Ah, you're correct. Crud. Wait, is this another... Yeah, it's another copy pasta. Uh, question number three. Goomba, Lava Bubble, Buzzy Beetle, and Boo. How many feet do they have? Total. Goombas have two. Lava Bubbles have zero. Buzzy Beetles have four. Boos have zero. So the total is six. Not D feet, though. <laughs> Woo! Arr, correct. Correct. Yep. Same dialogue. Copy pasta. Question four. It's elementary. We're not idiots. Where is the one? The only diamond star. Uh, this one actually might get you if you don't remember which star it came from where. Um, yeah, that, I, it's Hooktail's belly. Yep. Woo! 
Yeehaw! Rawr, you're correct, you jerk. You've already gotten four correct. You're kidding me. Well, fine. I'm gonna toss an extra hard one your way. You're happy now, sucker? <laughs> and now, question five. What was the name of the very first champion at the Glitzville Arena? That was Prince Mush. But, since I'm gonna purposely fail the quiz, and I need to get three wrong since there's seven um, questions here, I gotta fail all the remaining three. So I'm gonna choose Prince Macho. I am sure with that answer, even though I know it's incorrect. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong! You're dumber than dumb. Remember, three strikes and you're out, loser. <laughs> Here's the next one. <laughs> now for question six. What did Francesca and Frankie from Roadport lose on Keel Hall Key? They actually lost this more than once. It was, of course, a ring. But <laughs> this one isn't entirely incorrect if you think about it. <laughs> so that's the answer I'm going to choose, even though it's going to be wrong. <laughs> oh, you're so very foolish. So wrong, it hurts me. One more slip, and you're done for. Junior nerd, just one more. <laughs> Here we go. All right, last question. Hardest one right here. Question number seven. What number question is this? <laughs> it's so difficult that they even have the number above your head. Just in case, because they felt it was so hard that no one could possibly guess this whatsoever. Of course, I'm gonna pick the wrong answer. <laughs> oh, wrong. You got three wrong answers. So what happens if you lose? <laughs> Time for the punishment round, Mr. Wrong. Two x -yox. Win this fight, then I'll give you the elevator key anyway. But what are the chances? Listen, you have no chance, but do your best, because it amuses me. <laughs> this is why I equipped the Feeling Fine badges, because if I'm not mistaken, they actually protect you from their attacks, and these suckers can paralysis you, I mean, give you paralysis to the point that you cannot recover from it, and they'll give you an infinite loop of death. Yeah, I mean, infinite loop damage death. So, they are probably the most dangerous version of the Yucks out there, but they're still not all that difficult to defeat overall. Anyway, let's do a tattle here. x -yux. Actually, they're not pronounced that way. You'll see. That's an x -yux. I heard this thread as cross Yux, not as x -yux. Anyway, this is a new Yux designed to protect extra important areas. They are designed to be unbeatable. They're not. <laughs> Max HP is 10, attack is 3, and defense is 1. See, it's not really that big of a deal stat-wise. It can produce too many x yuxes at once. I mean, cross yuxes at once. <laughs> and it has an excellent success rate of immobilizing opponents. We gotta do something about that if we're gonna win. So, yeah, just start pounding that sucker like no tomorrow. Ah! It's going to create the mini cross yuxes. Oh, yeah. Meow. Just be sure to guard their attacks to try and prevent that paralysis if you don't have the uh, Feeling Fine badges on there. Now, as you see, since they make um, two mini cross yuxes at the same time, you have a little conundrum of that they, that you know, you only have, if you were just attacking normally, you would only have your two attacks and they would be singular attacks. So they would essentially, you know, infinite block you for all eternity. But anyway, that's a mini cross yucks. It lives to protect the cro cross yucks. The fork can guard the cross yucks. Max HP is 1, attack is 0, and defense is 0. You can't attack the main unit until you clear these annoying pests so, out. So use multiple strikes attacks to take them out all at once. Um, those cross yucks also have a bonus attack, I guess you could say, when they have four mini cross yucks attached to them. So I'm gonna uh, show that off. I'm just gonna knock off one here because it's a pretty devastating attack and I don't want them to both use this. So otherwise they'll use this attack normally. And oh yeah, it's not going to breathe first, so you're not gonna be able to see the uh, um, super special attack unless I leave the uh, um, the back one alone. So I'm just going to start nibbling away at these little ones. I know it's it's useless at this point. I'm just burning turns here. Oops, I clicked, clicked the wrong one. That's fine, that's fine. Woo! <laughs> okay, here's a super attack. Uh, yeah, that would normally uh, paralyze you if you didn't have the feeling fine badges on. 
So yeah. All right. Now let's do this. Let's see. Let's play for realsies. Let's start out with. Um, oh, I don't really have any attack items. I thought I would have some attack items. I, as much as the meteor meal sounds like it would it would attack the opponent, it doesn't. <laughs> Um, no, I guess what I'll do here is... Earth Tremor. Yeah, that's a lot of targets to hit. <laughs> Ten targets at the same time, only eight of them are going to take damage, though, because, you know, um, the shields are up for the cross yuxes. Right. I could actually leave the uh, Earth Tremor. Like, I don't have to keep powering this up anymore. Well, actually, no, I do have to, because it has to be high enough to hit the mini cross yuxes, so pardon me for that. <laughs> Woo! Alright, now let's do a multi bonk and hope that I can take care of it. There we go. One down, one to go. Woo! See, I told you they're not all that big of a deal. You just gotta, gotta watch for their attacks. Oh, out of curiosity, can you actually run from this battle? No, I didn't think so. I figured that would be the case. Um, now, this is why I equipped the multi bounce badge here. Now I can do this for cheap. Yeah, alright. I'm just doing that to open up. The Ooh! And what else has I've gotten a bingo? Boo Storm! Uh, let's do another multi bonk. Oh, oh, shit. I got trying to get fancy with the stylish moves and I failed hard. And like when I failed on the first one, I just kind of threw off my feel and yeah, well. Alright. Multi bones. Woo! Yeah, I know it doesn't do any damage to the. Um, uh, what, what am I saying? I kind of already covered that. As long as they have the shields up, they can't uh, take any damage. Yeah, it's not too difficult to guard its attacks, so, except for that, that super attack that it has, you know, that when it has four mini cross yuxes. Mm, and now we should finish it off. Yeah! Success! That was fun! <laughs> Well, he's not going to be happy with this. No! No! You beat my cute little underlings! How could you? <laughs> Arr, jerk. Just take this and go. And if you ever wonder, know that I hate you! <laughs> like I care about that. <laughs> so here you go. You get the elevator key for defeating the thwomp uh, in the quiz or failing the quiz. And, uh, and then defeating the cross yuxes. Get over here, please. There we go. Just didn't want to battle any more of you guys. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think I got all the floors covered now, except for you know the um, the next elevator down over. But I'm saying of the floors that I had access to when I first came here, I think I got them all overall. So I think I am good to go. Up. <laughs> You S O B. I'm out of here. <laughs> go 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 go. Get past it. Wait, actually, don't. I need my coinage. Maybe not that much. Just don't want to lose too much. Yep. Okay. Just try and lead its shots away. There we go. Now, elevator key. Oh jeez. It's actually shooting me in this cutscene. No. <laughs> Gotta time my button presses so it doesn't. So it only hits me when I'm in the cutscene. Alright, so here we have two more sub-levels. Let's start out with sub-level 3. Here we go. Now this is going to start looking more and more familiar to you overall. I mean, even more so than the... Oh, oh. Oh, this room. This room is, looks like it was made to store something. It's booby trapped. If you stay on the tiles that were lit up, I think you'll be okay, Mario. Uh, but you should totally go first, one way or the other. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Just follow the path. Just, it's okay. Just calm yourself. You, you can leave that behind if you'd like. Uh, you can get it back once the floor 
um, you know, is back to being safe. I shouldn't say back to being safe, making it safe, because, you know, this floor is always supposed to be booby trapped. All you have to do is just wait around, just keep following the path. No big deal, just be patient, just relax, have a good time, just watch the pattern, just watch, just move over to the next light as soon as you see it go. Da -da 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 -da. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Just a nice, relaxing walk through a deathly electrified room. No big deal whatsoever. Yeah, this is pretty easy. Oh! I failed. <laughs> well, I can grab. Oh, I can't kind of gra kind of grab that. Um, let's drop. Uh, super shroom. Yeah, let's do this one more time, of course. Yeah, I forgot a reverse direction. That was my own fault. Gotta pay more attention to the lights. But anyway, I'm coming up to the spot that wiped me out the last time. So. Yeah. Mm hmm. Go, 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 go! <laughs> there we go. I just needed to be a little more patient there. Card key! Yeah, so what are these all these card keys for? Well, you're about to find out soon enough. <laughs> Let's move on here. And lead him away. Yeah, okay. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was you. Or maybe it was the other one um, getting alerted of me or noticing me or something like that. Uh, over here, right here, this is where the card keys are used, so you need three of them. We don't have three of them, just yet. Oh, but we will. I assure you, we will, very soon, actually. Uh, uh, the upcoming rooms actually aren't so much uh, puzzle rooms as they are just dodge the enemies. <laughs> so it's not like it's going to take us too long to do so, we just got to go down to the uh, next floor. Don't lose the coinages. Well... Get as many as you can back. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Just leave that other one behind. All right. One more floor down. Sub-level four. Sub-level two, if you don't remember, is the one we were just uh, at before coming to sub-level three. And that you can go back up if you want to. Um, over here, uh, you probably know whose room this is. This door is locked. This is a fortress corridor, an elevator connects it to the lower floor. Oh, well, hmm. Thought, he, thought she'd have more to say about uh, this particular area, but I guess not. Uh, in here? Yep, it's Peach's room. That means the other room was Tex. Yep. Look at that. Someone's in here. <laughs> Wait, who is in here anyway? Oh, Elite X Naught. We, we, were you in here for a shower? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you or anything like that. <laughs> oh wait, come to think of it, do I already have um, three card keys? I might have not been paying attention there. I don't know, I, 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 I thought so. I mean, I thought I didn't. Oh, I forgot the one back at Grotus's room. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh, okay, I gotta go back up. <laughs> Sub-level two here. So I did forget something um, back here. That's fine, that's fine. It wasn't that much of a detour. I was going to show those places uh, off anyway, so yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh wait, was it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It wasn't sub-level two, because sub-level two was... Uh, uh, the quiz wasn't... It was... Ah, I'm confused! <laughs> Hold on, just wanna do this one more time here. Okay, so if I go through here, now what? Yeah, this one opens. No, no, wait, this is yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm confusing myself here. Back to sub level two. See, I knew Grotus's room was off to the right. I just forgot which floor it was. And now that I remember, um, now that I, th I mean, I, now that I thought about it more, excuse me, his room is over here on uh, sub level two. See right here, and if you don't, if you didn't get the tattle for those cross yuxes, there's another one right there for you to do so. I am of course going to just avoid it and go through this room. So cross yuxes, pretty dang annoying. What's this room for, huh? It's some kind of office for the X not. Is this? Is it some kind of office for the X not boss or what? Maybe we should just give it a once over to make sure you don't miss anything. Boy, what's with these tanks full of nibbles? Keepers, that creeps me out. <laughs> right here. 
Last card key, there we go. Is there anything to check over here? Like, maybe I could play a Famicom game? No, I guess not. It's kind of sad overall. I missed the Famicom game. I was only do that with, was only able to do that with Peach. Aww. Aww. Well, with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here since I got all the card keys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I see what is beyond the three card key door. You'll never be able to shoot me through that. I don't know why you keep trying. <laughs>